Well, today, a year after the death of Tyree Nichols, the Department of Justice releasing guidelines on the use of specialized units in law enforcement. Now, it was designed to determine when and where specialized units are most needed and to make sure management and oversight follows just policing practices. Now, the guide looks at how units are formed, who is selected to serve, and who supervises. These guidelines also outline how special units are managed and held accountable for actions and how the community engages with those units. Well, Tyree Nichols' death brings new conversations on reforming the Memphis Police Department. Months after Nichols' death, the city council approved several ordinances to hold MPD accountable, but whether or not they've actually gone into effect has caused some confusion and frustration. A few of the approved ordinances were the end of pretextual traffic stops for a broken taillight or expired tag, the end of using unmarked cars for traffic stops, and the creation of a database to track use of force complaints. But outgoing mayor Jim Strickland said he rejected those ordinances, while Memphis Police Chief C.J. Davis said she still put those ordinances into effect. Now, this claim has been met with criticism by Memphians and city council members. There's some pretty good evidence to indicate that even if some of them were enacted, they were certainly not all. Um, for one, we should have received a report within six months of the ordinances being passed, and that report has never been made public. Um, the city council members I checked with said they never have received it, so we know that one has not been fully enacted. We sent emails to Memphis Police for more details of how ordinances are being carried out. They have not given us an answer at this time. However, at city council, Chief Davis said the dashboard will launch later this month. Well, Tyree's story is one that not only rocked the city of Memphis, but it touched so many across the nation. That impact is why so many chose to honor him with memorials, murals, and even a skate park. That, of course, started at the very spot of that initial traffic stop on Ross and Rains. Right after Tyree's passing, this memorial went up to honor him. Now, just a month later, Memphis artist David Yancey painted this mural of Tyree in North Memphis on Jackson Avenue. It shows him in a button-up and tie, one of the many powerful pictures that gave us our first look at who Tyree actually was. Then, this mural was painted shortly after by another artist that shows a silhouette of Tyree skateboarding with a quote that reads, Change the World. Tyree has also been immortalized in the renovated Tom Lee Park with the sunset canopy that hangs over the basketball court built in his memory. His mom and stepfather, Rovan and Rodney Wells, wrote messages to Tyree on the first pieces that were added to that canopy. In Sacramento, where Tyree grew up, the city named a skate park memorializing his love of skating. All the way out in California. Yeah. His legacy lives on today. Mm -hmm. Well, for a full look at the lasting impact of Tyree Nichols, head to our website, abc24.com. Or text the word Tyree to 901-321-7520, and we'll send you a link to our article.